Alright, so again, thank you. Thank you for watching and good morning to all. Um, I would like to acknowledge yung mga attendees natin for today and this morning. Um, we have from uh, different schools and we also have some friends na nagjo-join and from other countries as well dito sa mga messages nila sa akin. So, actually, this will be our first time to air a Facebook Live for a webinar. It's actually very similar to um, a seminar na what, I'm, what I did in the past. But right now, what we're going to do is online now. Kasi ito na yung medyo thread ngayon. Um, let me know, guys, if you have some issues watching the videos, kung may mga delay siya, and... Uh, Kung hindi ako na naririnig, um, let me know, okay? And then later on, we will have some question and answer portion. And um, we're thinking that uh, every week we'll be having a Facebook Live um, in different topics. And then we will be inviting different co-hosts as well, yung mga subject matter expert for um, certain topics. Because next week, uh, we'll be discussing about digital marketing fundamentals, uh, um, web designing, web development, graphic design, mobile apps development, and uh, so much more. So yeah, we'll be inviting a um, couple of co-hosts to attend the said webinars. And so before we get started, um, we encourage individuals to um, sign up in our website, learn that digital marketing that PH, so you can get your free digital certificate. So after this event, we have some few questions now after you log in and you sign up in the website. So pupunta lang kayo rito sa learn.digitalmarketing.ph and then just go to um, dun sa right side, we have here a link. Itong continue with Facebook. So just click on this and then normally it will not ask you for any more information. Comparing dun sa mga typical sign-up form that it will ask um, your name, yung mga email, your phone number, and other things like that. So, and we enable that kind of function. Okay. So, ayan. We will be starting now. Um, again, feel free if you if you have any question, feel free to ask, and we'll answer it later on. So again, our audience are a bit mixed. We have business owners, we have um, professors, we have ordinary users, mga OFWs. We also have um, couple, or a lot of them are more on mga students, and uh, meron din mga full time mom. So, ayun, I am excited about um, this webinar na we are doing right now. So, our objective for this topic, uh, webpreneurship. It's actually a combination of uh, an online entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. Parang you are having an online business plus um, uh, putting it online. Diba? So, ang typical kasi na entrepreneurship before is they are into yung mga traditional type of um, business. Like, they have a physical store, they have a physical office. But nowadays, you can have your own business through the World Wide Web or online. And there's a lot of advantages of having an online business comparing to a typical store. Diba? But what um, it all depends on the passion and it all depends on what you need and what you really do. 
So if your passion is into um, web designing or into online business, I'm very much recommend this topic. Diba? But again, if you're into a different industry like mga nasa uh, online selling or you have a restaurant, you have a different business, it's also good if you integrate online business to your current business. Kasi uh, the good thing and the advantages of having an online business is yung reach natin. While pag um, yung traditional form of business na meron tayo, di ba, nasa kalsada lang sila or along the highway, along the road, inside the building, commercial area, ang mga nakakita lang sa atin is yung mga dumadaan doon or kung saan lang tayo na-publish. While if we have an online presence or business um, na naka-upload through, through a domain name or through social media, then makikita tayo globally and then 24-7. So that's the advantage advantages of having an online business. All right. So again, our objective for today's seminar or webinar is to learn how to start your online business from zero. Actually, marami kasi nagtatanong sa akin yan. Eh. Oo ba yung, how can I start an online business from zero? Very challenging siya, lalo na if you don't have any idea regarding online business, about web designing, about choosing the right domain name, choosing the right niche. So yun, later on, we'll be discussing all those elements, all those steps for us to be able to create our online business from zero. Okay, so maraming challenges yun eh. By the way, kung ito yung nakikita nyo right now, yung refer that PH, later on, I will be discussing about that. Um, this is my own platform on how we can earn money online right now. Okay? So by the way, may mga challenges kasi tayo no, to start an online business. Definitely, you need an internet connection. You also need to have a good um, computer or mobile phones. And then you also need to have, ito yung pinaka-importante, brilliant idea. And also, you need to have a good attitude and patience then in starting an online business. Kasi very challenging yan, lalo na kung startup ka. Sometimes you don't know your market, your audience. Uh, you don't have any funds, definitely, um, para masustain yung business, di ba? But nowadays, pwede na tayo mag-start ng online business even if we don't have that much money. Sabi ko nga, di ba, from zero. So, ano ba yung kailangan nating malaman para ma-move forward on? Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to introduce myself now because I, uh, I saw some people are sharing my, this uh, webinar that we're doing right now. Again, I am Dr. Chris Dayagdag. I am the CEO and owner of MarketLink Web Solutions um, here in Quezon City. So our office is based here in Mindanao Avenue, and we've been into business for the past um, 10 years. So basically, our services uh, are more into creation of online business, uh, web designing, web development, mobile application, um, graphic design, domain, web hosting, search engine optimization, digital marketing, full website management, outsourcing, and so much more. And ayun, we are also a Google partner. Kung nakita niyo t-shirt ko. Um, so mga next coming events natin or next coming webinar natin will be having a free t-shirt para maging engaging itong webinar natin. Parang uh, we're thinking na a typical seminar type. Diba? So ayun, uh, probably later on we'll be having mga questionnaire, question and answer, and then who, who's yung pinaka the best answer. Um, we'll be giving free freebies to, to you guys. Okay, so 
Ayun, our website is marketlinkwebsolutions.com. And um, most of our clients, as what I mentioned, if you have an online business, hindi lang mga taga rito sa Quezon City, in Metro Manila, but as well sa buong Philippines and worldwide as at the same time. So let's, help, let's maximize itong mga technology na we have right now. That's what we are doing right now. We have the Facebook Live. And this Facebook Live is actually uh, very helpful no, para makuha natin yung reach natin sa mga audience. So um, it's very important na um, we have this technology. And ang internet naman natin ngayon, it's not that difficult to get, no? Um, buong Philippines, we have a very good internet connection na rin. So, I think there is no hindrance for us to get started and run an online business. And, um, ayun, moving forward, ano yung pinaka-importante or pinaka-first part in starting an online business? So, if you can see the presentation right now, the first one, actually I just cited this from a good reference or a good source. Um, we need to find a niche. Okay? So, ano ba yung niche? So, before start selling or before start uh, promoting your services, you need to find the right product with the potential for serious profitability. So, um, ano ba yun? Ano ba yung niche mo na? Diba? Ito yung pinaka-importante. Eh. Ano ba yung gusto natin? Uh, ano ba yung ideal topic or something that you want to sell online? Okay. Um, I remembered, two, two months ago yun eh. We went to UC Berkeley in San Francisco, California. And... Um, I saw a lot of students, mga entrepreneur doon, na uh, they are really into um, creating an online business. Parang they are all challenging all their students to have their online business. Um, so it's like their capstone, their thesis na dapat we're going to start um, an online business from the scratch. Hindi ba? And then, from zero talaga siya. So, some of them, they do fundraising para makapag-register ng domain name, ng hosting. And some of them, they find a, a talent to create their website. Some, they just use mga Weebly content, mga free web design software or apps. Um, and then, the next challenge is, of course, they have to promote their services and products. So, ano-ano ba yung mga products na yun? Kahit ano-ano. Some, some of them, they are physical products. Some are virtual products, selling e-books, um, selling or doing affiliate marketing, doing blogging, doing content writing, and so much more. Diba? So, I remembered, uh, I saw a note dun sa billboard din nila na uh, the most popular course it's not actually, do na based on nila, it's not entrepreneurship, uh, how to start a business, how to program, how to uh, create websites, how to do graphic design, but it is on how you design a happy life. Alright? So, yung word na yun, parang nag-stand out eh, in something na, how to design a happy life. Diba? So, Sometimes we go to school para, ano, para kumita, para magkaroon ng magandang job, di ba? But think of it, uh, uh, we have to find our passion, we have to love what we do, and we need to, ayun nga, design a happy life. So, um, isa sa mga pinaka the best idol ko rito, si Steve Jobs, di ba? Lagi ko itong sinasabi, every time I have a seminar, I have a resource speaking, uh, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. And that's very true. Uh, kasi if we love what we're doing, if we are very passionate about this 
online business, regardless of the challenges na dumating sa atin, will be successful. Di ba? Um, sabi ko nga sa mga staff ko, sa mga employees ko, ang buhay is parang Mount Everest lang. All of us, we have our goal. We want to attain yung pinakataas, yung peak, di ba? Yung summit ba yung tawag nila doon? Or parang ilagay natin yung flag. But remember, pupunta ka doon sa base camp, doon sa pinaka-bottom. So parang tayo, lahat tayo nagsimula from the bottom, di ba? So, ganun din yun. Um, you have to pass through all the challenges in life. So, kung ihamping natin ito dun sa Mount Everest, sometimes you have to be challenged yung difficulties in going up, yung temperature, yung hunger, and then yung difficulties, di ba? Pati emotionally and physically, sobrang hira. So, ganun din sa atin. Ano yung mga challenges na uh, lumalapit sa atin para hindi natin mahanap yung ideal niche, ideal plan. Definitely, yung um, it sometimes maybe yung people that surrounds us. Sometimes we don't have enough knowledge, di ba, kung paano mo start ng online business. And yun yung mga nakikita kong challenges eh, na nasimulan na pero hindi nag-push through. Why? Because nag-give up. So, just avoid, just be positive. And I am very sure na uh, you will overcome all those challenges. Diba? And if you don't love what we do, sometimes um, hindi lalabas dun yung result eh. Diba? Kaya, ang hirap din kasi pag napilitan lang tayo. Example, itong online business ha? Uh, hindi naman natin talaga ito forte eh. or hindi naman natin gusto yung ito kasi wala tayong idea, di ba? Um, hindi talaga siya mag-work out. But kung gusto natin siya, like if we want to have an online business, uh, pero maraming mga challenges like how? How can I get started? Di ba? I tried this in the past pero hindi nag-work. I tried um, putting or having a website but wala namang visitor. So, ano yung mga naging problem? So, you have to determine, you have to analyze the situation. So, maybe, baka mali yung target audience natin, mali yung mga nakakita ng website, o kaya, uh, hindi lang talaga eye-catchy yung uh, products or services na ino-offer natin. So, just keep on analyzing and study, and, ayan, makukuha din natin yung the right answer, the right way. Okay? So again, ano ba yung mga gandang niche, by the way? Kasi uh, may mga nagpapakonsult sa akin kung ano raw yung magandang niche. Mga iba, just uh, ako nang bahala, ako nang gumawa ng business plan, business model nila, uh, SWOT analysis, at kung ano-ano pa. So ano ba yung magandang niche? Siyempre, una sa lahat, kung ano trending. At saka, dapat i-match mo yung trending dun sa passion mo. ba diba? uh, Kasi kung ang passion mo is, example, I am selling um, mga Korean dress. ba diba? Example lang. So, I love selling online products, mga merchandise. So, what will be the next step? is uh, you have to write it down. You have to determine. Kasi parang totoo yun eh. Kaya sometimes it's good that we study um, business. Di ba? We have to determine ano ba yung strength ng, ng niche na gusto ko. Ano yung possible weaknesses? Ano yung mga opportunities? Ano yung mga threats na pwedeng um, maging issues pag sinimulan ko na ito? Kailangan talaga natin ng business plan. Kailangan natin ng business model. We have to write it down. Kasi if we start without any plan, it will be useless. So I suggest guys, I recommend, 
before starting up your online business is to write down yung SWOT, di ba? Yung strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Write it down. Um, think of it na, kunyari, ang strength ko, I, am, I have the best supplier in Korea. Kunyari, ang bebenta natin, yung mga dress. I have a very affordable price comparing dun sa mga big platforms like mga Zalora, mga Lazada, mga Shopee. Second is I have personal touch. And ayun, marami akong mga gig, di ba? For, for my buyers, for my customers to avail these products that I am selling. So ayun, just find a niche. Meron ding mga clients kami or mga nagpapakonsult sa akin, they're into real estate. And ay, ayun, it's also another good niche. Di ba? So the good thing about real estate selling is actually, or if you're just a sales agent, not really a broker or uh, ano to, sales, ano to yung um, agent, you can actually sell product as long as you have a partner. You have partner na broker or accredited ng developer. So uh, what you just need to do is to create a website for them. By the way, make sure you have um, a blueprint or transparent contract with your brokers or with your partner para to make sure na magkani hatian ninyo. Diba? Kung ang niche mo na sa real estate, um, sometimes 1.5 or 1% or 2% ng, ng commission dun sa every property na masold, you will get that. Okay? So, ayun, you can also do that kind of niche. And we have a lot of successful case study na nagawa na namin doon, and we're getting good um, quality leads and sales after. All right? So, niche, yan. We cannot move forward eh, kung wala pa tayong idea ng niche right now. So, ayun, I recommend kung gusto niyo talaga matutunan itong having an online business, is uh, magkaroon na kayo ng niche idea. Um, in my case, so you have an idea, I am connected with different niche. Kasi syempre my passion is really into online business. Um, I have this web design business. I have this digital marketing company. At the same time, I am doing travel blogging. So ayun, uh, if ever you can follow me on uh, my YouTube channel, ito, uh, I posted here a lot of uh, videos sa mga tour namin recently in Beijing, China, in El Nido, Palawan, in the United States, and other location. So, um, by the way, this is also another niche, no? Kasi may, ngayon, nag-nauso na yung pagbablog, eh. Pagbablog at vlog. Ano ba yung difference ng vlog at saka vlog? Vlog pala. Diba? Uh, yung vlog, it is something na yung, yung first content writing siya. Yung you have to create your um, your content and then post it in your vlog. While yung vlog naman, V4 Victory, video siya. So it's typical na instead of writing it into content, uh, in, in, um, in a video form naman. So that's a vlog. Um, and later on sa mga upcoming webinars na we will be discussing in the future, uh, I will teach you on how you can create your vlog. Diba? Ito, you can start your niche. If your niche is into um, traveling or promoting other products or services through YouTube, pwedeng pwede rin yan. Okay? So, uh, yeah, later on, we'll be discussing about that. All right. So, I hope, guys, meron na kayong mga natutunan, no? 
uh, it's very important na malaman natin yung niche natin uh, before starting up. And ayun, I offer free consultation then. Uh, if, if ever na you're really interested on having your online business, feel free to send me a message, a personal message sa Facebook page. Um, and also kindly like my Facebook page guys, yung facebook.com forward slash branding to ROI. Um, so you will be notified for our upcoming um, webinars and other things na I am sharing about marketing, about technology, about uh, how you can earn online while sleeping, how you can earn online while traveling, di ba? Kasi, uh, yan, just to give you an idea, most of my travels or majority of my travels are sponsored by third party. Meaning, I am not investing money sa air, sa um, airfare, sa hotels, sa mga tours ko. Maybe just pocket money na lang. Alright? So, yan, yung mga recent tour namin sa Beijing, sa Palawan, in the United States, all of those are sponsored by our clients. Okay, so ito yung pinakamagandang matutunan eh. Paano ba natin magagawa yun? And ayun, uh, I became a full-time traveling CEO. And I, I'm very sure all of us wants that. Kasi uh, we want to move away dun sa traditional life. Ano ba yung life na yun? Yung talagang you're working eight hours a day. You are, um, ano ba yun? Para kang... Uh, lock in dun sa ganong situation, ganong work environment, di ba? But syempre, if starter pa tayo, I recommend kasi um, working in a corporate environment or work. Kasi uh, for the past five years, I worked there. And it's, uh, uh, I learned a lot um, in different industry, no? I work in um, call centers, in mga web design companies in the past, um, technical support jobs, and so, it's also good na uh, may experience natin yung mga ganun. But maybe after five years, di ba? Um, you have to think, you have to start creating your empire in the future. Hindi naman yung tatanda na lang tayo going at the age of 60 na working. Sabi ko nga, I want to retire at the age of 35. Paano ba yun? Di ba? So we have to work hard habang bata pa tayo, work three times. Um, and then, I assure you, you will get the result na, na gusto natin after that. Okay? 